Yes, finally get the news, have him right here also. And we platform the famous, the legendary Olivier Arundel. Today we get you live here with us and get the news, so we want to hear all what you want to say right now. <clears throat> well, look, if you don't have no problems with GB, if you don't have no problems with money, if you don't have a problem with the way how St. Martin is going, and if you don't have a problem with education how it's going, if you don't have a problem with all of the situation that is going on in St. Martin, you should just turn off the phone or pick off the fax because I have a problem with all of that. And our society has become a society of mediocrity, and people become numb to every activity that is going on. But not even one person can tell me what is the destiny that St. Martin is going to have in the next 10 years, or what is the plan for even the next two years. They don't even know. So, I don't even think that some of the people in St. Martin know what the word bashing means. A bashing of someone can only be considered if it's a lie. When you're telling the truth, is not bashing. When you're telling the truth, no matter how hard I am saying it, it is called expressing the facts. For example, you are damn black. That is the facts. But the word damn makes it sound like bashing. But all you want me to say, hey, you know what? You know you're black, right? But which delivery you believe that our society will understand better? Do you want me to sound like those that rips you off? For example, nobody don't see that a minister of Rami Doran gave out 2,100 and something meters of land to his brother and because in the European white man system it is not illegal but it is illegal in so many other countries even in France it's illegal but forget about whether it is legal is it morally okay is, is it morally okay not only that we literally have we literally have our politicians representing the Caucasian European group literally because why show me one person in St. Martin who is of the complexion of you that is achieving what these politicians are achieving while they're cutting up the country, dividing the country. You go to KB is a problem. You go St. Peter's, sewage water running. You go all over the place, huh? things running. So I don't understand, you know, it is the facts that we're spreading. So for me, it's best that you ask me some tough questions because I'm trying to find tough questions so I can answer. Because obviously, you know, we have a lot of critics on Facebook, but, but send questions. Well, so far, as you see for yourself, you know, you watch a little bit of my platform where they're saying, you know, um, you ain't got no big house in St. Martin, you ain't investing nothing in St. Martin. And why would you, you know, look at a young St. Martin you know, who in politics and he building his house, you know? That's called corruption. It's not a young St. Martin that is building his house. It's a young St. Martin that is taking embezzlement from other places to build his house. Because you can't build that house on the type of salary that the government is paying you. It's not possible. So why don't that young St. Martin, because he's a public figure, Everything has to be disclosed. Why don't he show us his income? 
his taxes and his revenue and how did he obtain that house why don't he show us the deed of the house who name is it in because maybe the house is not in his name Okay, well, or the apartment that the Minister of Finance or Associate Minister of Finance probably have down at, um, at, at the, those Twin Tower building down there. Or the 50 million gillers that just disappear out of the coffers of the government. That nobody knows where it's gone. That's why the people in St. Peter's can't get the sewage water out of their street. That's why we don't have prosperity in the country, my dear brother. So what is it that you really want? You guys been shutting up for the past 15 years. You guys just shut up and let people talk, but then quietly amongst you guys, you're there complaining. You have no juice. I want to see 100 more like me start to speak out because you don't have no juice. If you had juice, you would have speak out because the politicians are doing whatever they want towards you. So we are a society of numbness. But then you're looking at me talking about big house in St. Martin. You don't know what I own in St. Martin. I'm a private citizen. When I become a public um, um, person, you know, I will declare everything I own because we don't have a law in St. Martin that you have to declare everything you own before you go into to, 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 to office. We, we should develop that. You need to declare what you own. Mm -hmm. But now how come they're saying Sarah Rescott used to take care of you and now you're bashing her, you're yeah, you're chopping out a hand or feed you. Sarah Westcott used to take care of me. Yeah. Oh, you look my dear trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I never see Sarah Westcott take care of any Asian child. The lady that took care of me is a lady by the name of Mary Solomon. That's my great -grand that's my grandma. That's the woman I love. And then I grew up in the school of correction from nine until seventeen years old. From nine years old until 17 years old, I grew up in school of correction in Curacao. They take me out of society because I was a menace to society. They took me out of society. They sent me to Curacao. I was in school of correction, juvenile. You understand? Then from there, at the age of 18, 19, I was in St. Martin, 20. Then I went to the U.S. at the age of 19. I drop out out of university from studying economics with a minor financial engineer. So what date did Sarah Westcott really uh, take care of me? Maybe we should ask her daughter, her son, maybe Andy Westcott probably knew that um, that she used to take care of me. Because the last time I checked when Andy used to go to school and they was bullying him. Is this bad boy used to say, yo, probably want me to friend you, I got to buy the party for me today, you know? <laughs> so th that's the reality but Sarah Westcott William never used to take care of me Sarah from Colby Sarah you used to take care of me Sarah Westcott the biggest gangster in political system in Samarthi used to take care of me okay well I noticed you have a drive towards what? a lot of them in this in this election it's like for you you ain't even want nobody interfering because see you, you know you're calling people name from friend side dot side every side you know you just like you take over this whole election. But why arena. is it that you can't call people name? It is normal. It's done in the U.S. It's done all over the world. What do you mean? You're talking about LV. You're talking about um, 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 Sarah Westcott William. You're talking about about um, these, these these politicians. Why? Politics is our personal business for the people. Politics is the business of the people. You are a public figure. I don't get upset when they call my name. They call me all kinds of names. It's okay. Yeah, yeah, I hear them call you bubble. Bubble but no, is okay. But no, really but now I hear them saying too, like um, like you bash, you bash youth, youth, youth radio, like you know, that ain't nice, man. Listen, you know, let me tell when, you something when, about youth radio. Pato Piper, when he was with Youth Wave, I brought them to New York. When I was an a and at Columbia Records, Pato allowed the Bahamians or the Baham, Bahamian or the Barbadian stole his music to call We the Leader. And when he that never wanted song. to sue, yes, we the leader, 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 yeah, follow that was the a leader. Big song and a little bit when Patu did not have balls to take them to court, that is when I realized he's not man enough. But I did forgive him for that. But to bring me on your radio station and try to ridicule me, obviously, you realize that you have ridiculed yourself. And that is the truth. Okay. Well, what are we? Really the point? Because of Melissa on that radio station.
me listen on that radio station there, to be quite frank with you. She grew up in St. James. Her mother walked in Bethany home where my mother was. So I did not understand where the vigor come from. But let me explain you something. There's no sympathy okay, okay. for success. So I'm not looking for sympathy because you have arrived, I've arrived to the point is I get off the boat that was sinking. I decided that I don't want to be in the predicament that these people are in, ghetto news. I decided that I want to get out, out of the ghetto, just like how 50 and everybody else got out and get to make a life for themselves. But you guys want to stay in the ghetto with these dirty kongs, politician that is giving you all kind of fake dreams. So Melissa, Youth Weave, and those radio stations that wants to attack me is basically doing the dirty work the dirty work for the politicians. But keep digging, keep looking. Yeah, because the point what I really want to say, when you come out, you start out hot. A lot of things people looking for, people never see, you could see. You understand? You're yeah. a very intelligent guy, we notice that. But the point I'm come, trying to come across is, certain way you handle certain things with people, they're gonna look at it like a beef. They're gonna make it, they're gonna maybe even bring it further than how it is. So that's what I was just telling you, like, on that aspect there, just to avoid more do I, conflict do I, do with I our care, people. Do I care about people's feelings? No, we need conflict. Without because conflict, I hear about I hear about on. the one to your Carlene and um what he named the Bryson guy. Orlando there. Bryson. He yeah. was telling a lie on the radio station and I have to confront those lies. Simple as that. We have a piece of land in Mullet Bay. This guy wants to give it to the Italians. We already lost it the first time. But how am I are we gonna sit back and allow these people to give it to the Italians? How are we going to allow to do that? Who's talking up? This is the last piece of hope that the amount of people have in order for us to be able to create 2,000 jobs for our people. So do I care about your feelings? My legacy will speak for itself, bro. Malema in South Africa, do he care about the European feelings when he's telling them, no white man has to make money in my country? The guy in Bukim... Bukim Faso, do, we, do, we, do it looks like he care when they told France no more? Do they look like they care? We don't care. We want progress and prosperity for our people. And those who are against prosperity for black people is a traitor against black people. Now, hear this very well. Not every black man is your brother. And not every white man is your enemy. You have to identify the difference. But it is our own people that is allowing for those very mean European to destruct our country. Now, Ghetto News, I have a question for you. In the past four years, tell me three significant changes you have seen for the betterment of St. Martin. And I will shut up. None. We can't lie. None. So, None. therefore, no, no, let me ask you this. Now, you know, and you have all of this knowledge, and you know a lot because you're born here. You, you from here, you even have a talk saying, if you ain't born here, you shouldn't be governing here. That's correct. We're looking into a lot of things, you see. Correct. So, now, what I want to know from you, what are you expecting out of this, all of this? What are you looking for? Because already we want to know who you're endorsing, and you say waiting after the what yeah, you call it? Day. The parcelation yeah, day. Yeah, after the candidates goes in, ladies and gentlemen of St. Martin, and those who really want to eradicate all of the nonsense that's going on in St. Martin, if you really want to eradicate that, after parcelation day, I will do a nation address, and in that nation address. I'm going to explain you why you should vote for that specific candidate and why you should not vote for the others and this other and that other. In our system, it's all about the candidate. There is only 15 seats. It's about the candidate. It is not about the political party. Because once those candidates get into government, the members of that political party also are suffering. How many National Alliance members they have living in St. Peter's that they got to smell shit water every day? How many National Alliance members that live in Dutch Quarter? 
or up members that live in Dutch Quarter or DP members that live in Dutch Quarter or all candidates all over live all over. How many members? It's all about the candidate. And these are the aspects that I'm telling you about that after this specific time, we will change the system by telling you who are the right person to vote for. Me, I'm not your politician. I'm just going to keep educating you to give you the truth. I don't have a hidden agenda. I don't have a person that I work for. I don't have people that I represent. It's only you who are my family. The Sinmata people are my family. This is why I say clearly, those who are not born in St. Martin under a new administration because the Kingdom Charter will be scanned. The Kingdom Charter will be screened. We're going to have that done. And under that new constitution of St. Martin, or the only constitution of St. Martin, if you were not born here, I'm sorry for you. You're not going to be able to become a minister. You're not going to be able to become a parliamentarian. Because those type of positions, if you look around the world, it is held for people that was born in those territories. Only in St. Martin, we can have somebody come from anywhere around the world that have a Dutch passport and just decide that they're gonna put themselves on the list. For example, the Indian man. No sense of culture. No sense of understanding. No sense at all. But he had a heart surgery. He was not good enough to go in the hospitals that you guys are going to in Colombia. It was not good enough for him to go in the hospitals in Santo Domingo. He flew to India. And I want to know who paid for that. I am dead sure that our government paid for that. What is it? When are you guys going to pay for those people? I know one person that, that is in Curaçao. Many of our citizens go to Curaçao to get cancer chemotherapy treatment. Why don't you guys pay the same thing that you guys pay for these dead conks? Huh? Do you think that you're better than the people of St. Martin? And then after you're telling me I'm not allowed to speak, when you are trampling on my brothers and sisters and those that cannot speak for themselves because they don't have the financial resources to turn up against you, well, guess what? I don't have a bank account here. I don't have a home here. I don't have nothing here, so therefore you can't touch nothing. But I can touch everything that you have. We are going to nationalize every single aspect and give it back to the people of St. Martin. And for those who are enemy of St. Martin, you're not welcome. And for those who are friends of St. Martin, you are welcome. You are welcome to help us build this country to what it used to be, build it strong, build it with vigor, build it with confidence, build it with self-esteem so that we all can prosper in this nation. Because none of you can tell me that the black race in St. Martin has been prospering. Because when you look in our prison, it is 99% black youths. When you look at those that are on drugs, it is 99% black youths. When you look at those that are unemployed, 99% black youths. When you look at those that don't have no homes, 99% black people. When you look at those that are homeless, 99% black people. And if you don't see something wrong with that, Minister Duran, Prime Minister Severa Jacob, Minister of Finance, that cannot tell a white bank that they don't have the right to tell a citizen of this country that they cannot open a bank account in this country or leave this country. Huh? When you look at Minister Leo Lambrix, who the people of St. Martin is not his boss, but there are for certain people that is controlling him. Huh? When you look at all of these aspects, huh? when you look at the Minister of Education, Rudolph Samuel, that has destructed this education because he has a white mindset and a white education, therefore what you guys are really telling me, you want to look into my life? You want to see my life? Well, I challenge you, St. Martin. Whoever I endorse, vote for them. And then you're going to be able to enter my life. That's my point, Ghetto News. All right, all right. Now, since we're talking about finance, because myself, I was in a meeting the other day with we president on the front side, and I hear about uh, two million, so I know a lot of money circulating here. And you yourself now is a millionaire. 
You understand? And now I see I had a other situation where a guy won five thousand from you. So even if he bring maybe all the documents, I was saying you should give him a little half because no. I, I, you know a lot of money you know circulating. Why? You know why? You know why? If Eddie did come to me and tell me, you know what, Mr. Arundel, I would like some assistance to start a business. I would like some assistance to do something. I would have. Many people call me, hey, I need a pair of sneakers. Meet me. Hey, I need this. I only help people that need like a springboard. But when you come to me and you want to extort money from me and you want to figure that, hey, you know what, I could try a thing or two, the things that money can buy in this life, it's simple. The things that money can buy, it's like this. But if the man did come to me and you have him associated with a guy, the simple thing I asked for was a birth certificate. A lot of people know that if I did receive that birth certificate, this subject matter would have gone further. Because there's a reason why I offered that money for the birth certificate a post year. I reason why. Because everybody know I will challenge the citizenship of ALV. I will challenge it. And there is a legal process to do that in France. And you know that I know that I'm French. So therefore, when you come with the marriage book, with a man, wife, his child, his personal information, you want to send that to me as proof that the man was born in St. Martin. Therefore, I'm not going to accept that. There is a thin line in politics. I do not involve children and I do not involve wives. Or I do not involve mothers. I don't get there. I respect wives, children, and mothers. Yeah? But if you go there with me, then I will go there with you. That's the point yet to use. So they have not followed, nor they have not complied with the rules of the game. And they tried to manipulate my voice and manipulate this. And this thing became so out of control. But I was waiting for the right moment to create 350,000 views. And out of that 350,000 views, everybody, not everybody, but 80% really appreciated how I dealt with that because we have to be honest with ourselves. Eddie could have come to me, sit down, discuss, and say, listen, this is a serious business I want to do. This is my business plan. If it's okay, I will invest in it. But he did not come with that. So therefore, I don't deal with extortionists. You understand what I'm saying? And I don't have to basically tell the people of St. Martin what am I doing for other people in St. Martin privately or who am I helping or how am I investing because I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a public, uh, I'm not a politician for that. So if i supposed to invest in someone, I'm not going to tell people that I'm investing in that person. That's private. You understand? But the simple reason that subject matter was a subject matter of pure extortion. All right then. They have him people finally have him there live and direct and get on you so like i tell you you're really hitting the waves you're hitting the waves out there and the whole the whole universe is on you now so yeah the point is you know it's not about hitting the waves the point is everybody know what's going on in st martin you know what is happening in our country if we continue like that we're going to hit extreme poverty right the point is not knowing the point is to understand what i'm telling you do you understand what i'm trying to express to you some people think that going up by the minister house was not called for a minister house is a public figure everything that minister do is public knowledge everything it's just like a celebrity it's just like me i open my life to you so everything about my life you need to know because this is what is called public life nobody took the time to ask themselves the simple question where did he get the money to buy the land where did he get the money to build a house nobody asks where these people get the money you never ask your government for a copy of the yearly budget to know where the money is going. When last have you saw a school being built, Minister Duran? When last have you built a school, Minister Duran? When last have you fixed or paved a road up in St. Peter's, Mr. Minister Duran? 
When last have you created a project, Mint Minister? All we see you do is take pictures with white men cutting ribbon with white people projects there, project there. When last have you cut a ribbon of a black man of St. Martin that wants to start a condominium project? When last, when last have the Minister of Finance decided they're going to open a national bank and ask the Dutch, just like how you guys are borrowing $600 million to bail out Enya, huh? Huh? bail out Enya, and then Rolando Bryson have the nerve to defend this coalition whereby the Prime Minister and those decided that they're going to accept the money, and you're talking about, man, you're a hypocrite, brother. You're a hypocrite, man. Huh? You put in some Martin people in extreme debt just because you want to live in a free apartment in Porto Kupakoi? Huh? Just because you want to live in a free apartment down in Kupakoi? You, you guys are putting some Martin people into debt and their children and their children and their children? I can get up and I can leave anytime I want. You guys, after you done embezzle the country, you could get up and do whatever you want. But what about those that cannot? You know why I have a strong financial stability in my life? Because I've learned two things. To be honest when it comes to financial transactions. And two, to always give 10% back to the community. Unfortunately, I've been living in different communities in my life for 15 years. Because you, the people of St. Martin, has disfranchised me. You, or the people of St. Martin, has ridiculed me. You, the people of St. Martin, with your government at them days, the T.O. Heiler girls, where are they now? Huh? And, uh, and all of those big dead Kongs that gone, where are they today? But look at me. I'm strong. Look at my skin. Look at my face. Look at my ability. Do I look like I'm stressed? Do I look like I have problems? No. I am extremely happy in my life. And for that reason, I am here. I am here to make sure that you can have what my experience is because I came 